What's up guys? It's Cindy McLaughlin here, part of Team New Balance. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys a few exercises that you could do at home to still feel like you're staying active during this quarantine. Um, please be safe, wash your hands, and stay inside as much as possible. Um, so I did warm up a little bit um, by going for a jog. If you have a treadmill, if you have a bike, or even a jump rope, something to just warm up your muscles. Uh, I definitely recommend that before we get into some of these exercises. And of course, stretching. Um, I'll show you a few stretches in case you, you're not sure what to do um, and then after that we'll just jump into a few of the exercises so you're gonna need some space um we're gonna start off with some static stretching um if you do want to do a little bit more dynamic stretching uh you would definitely need a little bit more room for that but we're gonna just start off with some nice easy quad stretch um holding it at your toes doesn't matter whether the foot is flexed or not just getting a nice stretch along that quad all the way up into your psoas and your hip flexor um, we're going to do this on both sides, controlling your balance, keeping your core tight. We're definitely going to work on that core because a lot of those calories we're eating during this quarantine are just staying in our stomachs. So we're going to get into some hip circles, making sure we're feeling it in our outside hips and in our glutes going both ways. Getting a nice rotation. And if I speed through these, it's just because the stretching is important, uh, but I do want to make sure, you know, we definitely get into that workout. Now you're going to cross one foot over the other, reaching down, touching your toes. If you can't completely touch your toes, that's okay. You're going to feel it on the outside of your hamstring and along your IT band. So you really want to make sure you, you hold this stretch and allow the outside of that hamstring to open up. And we're going to switch. Great. We're going to get into some ankle circles, just really waking up the body. I think we've been sitting for a long time now. Make sure you go in both directions. Um, we've been sitting for a couple of days now, and I think it's definitely important just to wake up the body a little bit, um, get that blood flowing. <laughs> Ooh, get the neck. I go back and forth. Do some circles. I'm sorry if you guys can hear all of this. Great. Get some wrist circles. Both directions on that too. Holding our shoulders circled backwards. And then forward. Arms in and out. Opening up that chest for when we do those push-ups. And then we're gonna take one, cross it over, and hold it at the elbow. You're gonna feel it right on the outside of your shoulders. And then switch. Same thing, you're gonna now stretch your arms up. Holding at the elbow and pull down. And switch. Okay, let's get right into it. So if you do have a some sort of exercise band, that would be great. If you don't, you don't even worry about it. You can do these all these exercises without the band. I'm gonna just do a little bit more challenging version and if you want to modify it please feel free so we're going to start out by placing this band right above our knee and we're going to just simply start with some body weight squats feet should be shoulder width apart as we go down we're going to try to push our knees out don't let your knees cave in and we want to sit so far back that our knees are parallel to our toes not passing our toes so as you squat you do not want your knees to come in front of your toes you want to sit back so that your knees are parallel to your toes and the ground. So we're gonna do 10 of those. If you wanna have your arms out, if you wanna do prisoner squats, whatever you think, I do put my arms out as I go down so I feel like I'm sitting back further and getting more of a burn. So, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, The next exercise we're going to do are pulse squats. So you're staying same position that when you go down, but now you're not coming all the way back up. You're coming up maybe two or three inches and then going right back down. So I'm going to go through all of the exercises that we're going to do, and then we're going to do them all one more time, um, but without a break. So I'm going to take these off low key because I don't want you guys to hear me breathe. It's not cute. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 pulse squats. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna do side to side squats which are kind of like the pulse squat because you're not coming all of the way up but you are going side to side taking a step so you are shifting the weight and the pressure and the loading on your glutes so we're going to start feet together on the left squat down and then we're going to come out and close out and close out and close so we're going to do 10 each side which is going to be 20 in total um, I definitely recommend when you're doing this, uh, just don't try to take this huge step out if you can't. If you have to just make small steps, you're still going to feel the burn. Um, don't try to extend yourself, you know, trying to be super far out, um, especially if you're not completely full warmed up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. So we're going to do 20 of these. This one, I wouldn't hold my arms out. I would bring them in like you're praying. <laughs> so let's do 20. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. So we're going to start with those three exercises for our circuit. Um, I'm a little lightheaded. This is when you need to hydrate. So if you have a cup of water or a glass of water, I would hydrate right now. Um, so we're going to do those three all the way through. Same number with no break. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next part. So 10 body weight squats followed by 20 pulse squats followed by 10 side to side pull squats each side which is going to be 20 total Woo! so we're going to give a 30 second break get your water take a sip hydrate and then we're going to get into this i don't know how they're going to edit this but i hope i don't look crazy it's fine Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, ready? Let's get into it. 10 body weight squats. Here we go. Did I do 10? Yeah. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, go right in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10 more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great, whoo, I'm gonna take that band off. Let our quad breathe. Now we're not done with legs, um, but we are done 
with the burning of our quads. So our next couple exercises are mainly gonna be focused on balance. Um, really, you can do this without weight, you can do it with weight. Um, and then it's just two and you can honestly pick one or you can do both. Um, a big part of, wow, I'm out of breath. <sighs> I could never be an instructor. Um, <laughs> so a big part of, I would say balance kind of exercises is your core. So you really wanna engage these muscles, um, tightening them, but not over tightening them. Just making sure that they are engaged, um, which is just clenching, but not killing yourself. Um, when you do these so that you are on balance and it's easier to stabilize yourself. So core engaged, focused on one spot, take a water break, I hope they edit this because pew pew. Okay, great. All right, all right, all right. You're doing great. Okay, now we're gonna get into the next two exercises. So the first one is simply an RDL, single leg RDL. Um, so my, I'm gonna stand on my left foot. Right foot's gonna be up. It doesn't matter if it's up like this or just off the ground. My right hand, as I go down, is going to touch my left foot. My back leg is gonna straighten. Ooh, wow, see? That's why I gotta stabilize that core. Your, my back leg is gonna straighten, and I'm gonna come back up. This is really working on, when you come up, you wanna squeeze your butt and your hamstrings. This is gonna really work that hamstring muscle I would definitely focus more on clenching your your um, glutes. That's the right word, sorry. This is why, you know, it's fine. It's fine, I hope I hope you edit this in the balance. Thank you so much. Um, let's scratch that whole last part. Cut. Okay, great, okay. Hi, welcome to Chili's. So we're gonna be doing a couple of balance exercises. Um, you're gonna stand on your left foot your right hand is going to meet your left foot as you go down. Back leg should be straight, touching. Oh, okay, all right, you know what? Take three, take three. Hi, welcome to Chili's. So today we are gonna... So for our next two exercises, children, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Our next two exercises are going to be balance exercises. So we are going to do single leg RDLs. If you want to use a kettlebell or a weight, you can. I'm going to demonstrate. So you are going to stand on your left foot, right foot slightly off the ground. As you go down, your opposite hand, which is my right, is going to meet my left foot. My back leg should be straight and I am clenching my buttocks or my glutes on the way up. Okay, we're going to do 10 each side. Really stabilize that core, focus on one spot, and slowly take your time. Do not try and rush this. You really want to make sure you are engaging all of your muscles and working them thoroughly. So, we're gonna do 10 on our left. So, right hand meets, and one. And two, if you wanna be holding a kettlebell in your right hand, you can. And if you also want to advance yourself a little bit by bringing that knee through when you come up, you can do that as well, which is going to work the opposite hip flexor. That's four, I think. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. And that's 10. This is really gonna strengthen your feet. A big thing that people don't work on very much is um, the arch of their foot, especially as a runner, I'm constantly working on having strong feet. So this is definitely gonna, you're gonna feel it and you're gonna wanna stretch your feet out afterwards. So let's get to the other side. 
Everyone has a weaker side, unless you're just abnormally strong. I know my weaker side is my right side. Um, so this is the side I definitely have to focus more, make sure my core is engaged, make sure I am focusing on that one spot and taking my time coming up because my feet are not as stable on this side. So let's get these 10 in. That's one. That's two. That's three. If you have to make small adjustments to keep your balance, do so. But sometimes you just have to stop, reset, and then go back down. Five. Six. Reset. Seven. Making sure my core is still engaged. Eight. Nine. And ten. Woo! Great. So, something like this is really just, it's working those small muscles slowly, teaching them to focus and relax and really fire. Um, so that's one variation if you want to use a kettlebell to challenge yourself, great. If you don't have weights and you just want to do it without it, you'll still feel the burn. Um, so there's that. Or the other one that you can do, um, same thing kind of with the hip flexion. Um, and if you want to use a medicine ball to challenge yourself, this is really just holding for 30 seconds, keeping my toes dorsal flex, which is, I'm really going to feel this burn right here in my hip flexors. Um, as a runner, we're constantly having to pick up our knees and as a hurdler, constantly needing strong hip flexors. So I'm gonna hold this for 30 seconds on each side. Uh, if you wanna challenge yourself and hold the medicine ball above your head, uh, lock out your arms, keep them close to your ears and make sure that core is engaged. So I'm not gonna use medicine ball for the sake of the fact that a lot of you probably don't have medicine balls. So we're gonna pick up our right knee Core, before you even pick it up, core engaged, knee up, toes dorsal flex up to the sky. You do not want your toes hanging, you want them up. And we're gonna hold. We're gonna count down from 30. 30, 29, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You saw me adjust my shoulders. One thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're not hunching over. And that you sometimes you have to make those small adjustments if you feel yourself. So if you feel your core not being tight, you need to tighten it back up. If you feel your knee dropping, you should bring it back up. If you feel your toes dropping, pick them back up. And sometimes you, I tend to arch my shoulders a little bit. So sometimes just keeping that upright posture and making those small adjustments in your head mentally so that as you practice them, they just become a habit. So. We're gonna to go to the other side and hold. If you wanna put your hands on your hips, if you wanna have your hands out, whatever you have to do to keep your balance, um, your hip flexor is still gonna get this work in. So we're gonna hold the left up and counting down 30, 29, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. We're not going to go through those twice because those are depending on how long you want to do it for. If you want to do it for a minute, if you want to do it for 15 seconds, 15 on, 15 off, that's up to you. So that's kind of just to show you guys the basics. And all of these things can be put into a cycle or a circuit of your choice, depending on what you want to do. Um, so now we've got a little bit of the hip flexor working, we've got the quads working, we had the glutes working. Um, we did a little bit of core st uh, stability, that is the right word, with our um, single leg RDLs. So 
Now we're gonna go into our upper body. So we are gonna do a little bit of core and then we are gonna do a little bit of arms and we're gonna call it a day. I don't know how they're editing this. I hope you guys aren't playing this straight because you're gonna make me look really bad. It's fine, it's, it's okay, that's life. So what do we wanna do next? I'm making this up on the fly. Core. <laughs> so for this, I am gonna bring the camera. We're gonna bring you right here, maybe. Oh, y'all can see me still, hey. Okay, so for some core, if you don't have a yoga mat, that's completely fine. If you don't need a towel, cool. Um, I'm gonna take it like a G. So for our core, we're gonna do a couple of exercises. We're gonna run through them each individually and then we'll go through like a circuit like we did with the first set of things that we did. So, what do we wanna do? What is on my shoe? That's disgusting, okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna, gonna deal with that later. All right, so, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get, Because I have been eating this whole quarantine. It's fine. Maybe. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start off with some things that we're gonna do. See, this is why they can't let me make videos. It's fine. All right. I really. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start off with some Russian twists. That's what we're gonna start off with. So you're gonna you can either lock your legs like this or you can just keep them together. I'll go this way so you can see. You can either lock your legs like this or keep them together. So basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna lock mine. We're gonna hold your hands however you want. Same thing, all of these can be modified to be a little bit harder. So if you do wanna use a medicine ball for something like this, you can. I will not. Um, so basically, hands together, whatever you wanna do. We are twisting from side to side. You heard my back crack? Hold on, let me pause. Okay, great. So you're basically reaching from side to side, keeping those abs tight, twisting. You are going to feel this. So the key for this is you do want to reach far back. So it's not just touching side to side, it's reaching behind you so that your abs are getting the full twist as they are tightening and really working themselves. So we're gonna do 20 each side, which is gonna be 40 in total. Um, if you do feel like that's not enough, you can double it. Um, but yeah, just for going through the first time, we're gonna just start with 40. So, here we go. Should I go this way? No. Dang. They're gonna hate me for this video, it's fine. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And notice how my feet did not touch the floor at all. That's one thing you definitely want to not do. <laughs> um, you do want to. You're gonna feel that burn again in your hip flexors. So honestly, a lot of these workouts, as much as they are single around one thing, they do work multiple parts of your body. So that's kind of a benefit. So we're gonna stay in the same position. We're gonna unlock our feet if you have them locked. And we're gonna place our hands behind us like this. And we are going to push out and in, and out and in. Um, we're gonna do 20 of these. It's gonna be a little bit faster than that if you wanna take them slower be my guest, but um, my core is not that strong and I don't want to be shaking, so we're not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do 20 in and outs. Um, if you cannot straighten your legs completely, that's, a, that's okay. Um, just try to get them as straight as possible and bring them back in. So we're gonna do 20 of these, here we go. Hands are behind you just for balance. Do not put all your weight on your hands. Most of your weight should be on your butt, glutes. 
Here we go. One, two, and ten. That's going to work the upper part of your abs. Um, you're going to feel it much more at the top than you will the bottom. But to get the bottom, to get the bottom, man, we are not going to do toe touches. Um, if you do want to put something under your back for this one, I would highly recommend that. Or your tailbone, I would definitely recommend that too. Um, so basically, legs straight up, toes flex. We're always practicing flex toes because you do not want to walk with your toes pointed. You do not want to run with your toes pointed unless you're a dancer, which I was. That's probably why I do it. Yeah, it's, it's a bad habit of mine. Um, practicing flex toes, we are going to crunch up. Oh, I can't even reach my toes. If you can't completely reach your toes like me, it's okay. But we're going to try and get as close as we can, crunching up and coming back down. We're going to do 20 of these. Um, wow. Okay, I need a towel. Dang. Okay. I hope you guys edit this. I'm going to lay this towel down, kids. That's 10. That's 20. You know, I just realized y'all have probably been looking at my deodorant just creased up under my armpits this whole time. Um, that's not cute. Why didn't you tell me? It still smells good, but it's, it was just like sitting there and y'all didn't say nothing like, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? All right. Um, next, we're gonna do some hip dips. So this is gonna be in a plank position. If you wanna put something under your elbows, please feel free, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to actually, let me stop playing. So plank position, um, making sure my back is flat. We're gonna come up and we're basically gonna dip our hips from side to side, okay? Um, not completely touching the ground, um, making sure my butt isn't, okay, I need to go to the side so you can see this better. So, hip dips from side to side, making sure I'm not up or sagging. Um, really tightening, this is where we're going to bring in that core one more time. Uh, obviously it's core. <laughs> Keeping that core tight and then we're going to do about, we're going to do 20. You know, we're going to do 20 because I forgot we're going to go through this whole thing again without a break. So. I apologize. I am the worst instructor. <laughs> My worst instructor ever. All right, here we go. 20. That's 20. What was the first exercise? Dang. I need to be fired. Um, no, it's fine. Wait, we did Russian twist, in and outs, toe touches, that. Right? It's fine. We're going to just go through those. Here we go. Russian twist, Russian twist. So we're going to go through everything now with no break. So we're going to go Russian twist, 40, in and outs, 20. Toe touches, 20. Oh, that's going to hurt. But it's a good hurt, guys. The pain is quality. So there is no, there is no success without a little bit of pain and suffering. So okay, what was I saying? Okay, dang. I'm so sorry, New Balance. I'm so sorry. Am I making us look bad? It's fine. Just let me know. Just let me know. Just email me. Email me. Um. Okay, here we go. Get some water. You know what? Let's all take a water break. Everybody, 
Get some water. Stay hydrated, kids. I'm just gonna sit here. Take your time, take your time. Where's my water, you ask? Oh, um, it's over there. But um, I'm the host, I can't, I can't leave. I'm, I care about you, it's not, this is not about me, it's about you. Um, we're gonna get these obliques, don't worry about this. Do you see this? Don't worry about it, we're gonna get there. We're gonna, we're gonna burn that off, I'll tell you that much. Take about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna get into this little circuit of ours. I'm so sorry, this is probably so bad. <laughs> All right, here we go, let's get this work. All right, Russian twist, and 40, let's get it. Great work, everybody. Um, we're gonna call it quits for the core. Great work. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna um, arms. So, how many arm exercises do I have? Push-ups, dips, Okay, we have two exercises. Two more exercises. Great work. You're not gonna need your towel. Okay, so, okay, hold on now. I'm gonna just show you the oblique exercise if you wanna do it, um, because I said we would. Okay, great. So basically it's a side crunch. Laying on your side, the bottom arm is out, the other arm is on your head, crunching up to the side really gonna work those obliques. Um, if you wanna do these 20 each side times two, you'll feel your obliques getting that work. Okay, last things we're gonna do. Push-ups and then dips. So for the push-ups, you're gonna need the ground. And for the dips, you're gonna need a chair. So I'm gonna pull this chair out. gonna go through each twice and then we're done okay great I'm gonna get fired for this so we're gonna do 10 push-ups 10 dips times two and then we're done here we go 10 push-ups one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten Coming right into our dips, which we're gonna put our feet out, hands on the chair, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last set, come on now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All the way down and up, 10. 
And last 10 dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. Woo! Great work, everybody. Um, could do some cool down stretching, drink some more water. Um, those are just a few exercises you could do in a little circuit. You could take less rest because I talk way too much. And yeah, stay safe, stay active, stay home, wash your hands. Um, I'm sorry for how bad this was. But yeah, thanks guys. Okay, bye.